part of who we are, and yet we've still got this document that doesn't reflect well on any of that. You read section 25, um, and you know, there could be a government come along one day if they wanted to, they won't, but it would mean my wife and kids can't vote. What <laughs> sort of crazy country is that now? That illegal. Uh, yeah. In terms of the uh, media behaviour you described earlier over the like, past few years, where does the ABC fit? Uh, it's a really good question. They, this is huge generalisations because I think you're dealing with not only different bureaus but different individuals. And so there's different judgment calls on news all the way through the structure. Generally, pretty good. Genu genu generally, I found when it was getting rough for me in the media sense, if I did an ABC, you know, a Lyndall Curtis or you know, one of those ABC programs out of Canberra, or if I did radio uh, here locally, I'd at least be trying to get my side of the story out. So there was that want by the ABC to at least hear all sides of stories. Um, there was some drifting at times into, I think, some weird territory um, for what I consider to be just where the rape... The press is a pack. It's called a pack for a reason. Um, and I think there are times where news outlets feel they have to cover things because the pack's coming, covering them. And I think ABC got caught in a bit of that at times. I still wonder why you know, on the drum or a Q&A, there are certain individuals that they're comfortable having on. And I've mentioned IPA before, the Institute of Public Affairs, where you know, we don't know where they're funded. Um, why would the ABC have an organisation like that on? And in their defence, I think they would say, because we want to have a full spectrum of voices. So how has the spectrum drifted to the point of having... In the past, I don't think they would have even been considered on the spectrum. Yet now they're part of the mix of voices that uh, an organisation like the ABC feels compelled to have on it. So some of that stuff, I don't think they're without sin on. And I, I would hope, you know, they really do fact check on some of those individuals a lot more. Um, they're generally, generally pretty good. Some of them more professionally.